Welcome to the Ask a Roofer podcast, where all your roofing questions find their answers. Your hosts, Megan Ellsworth and Lauren White, peel back the layers of the roofing world to reveal the knowledge, tips, and FAQs you've been curious about. From shingles to skylights, metal to asphalt, we're here to demystify the system above your head. So get ready to ask, learn, and explore the fascinating world of roofing one question at a time on the Ask a Roofer podcast. Hello, everyone. My name is Megan Ellsworth. And I'm Lauren White. And this is the Ask a Roofer podcast. Welcome back. Today, we have Renee Ramey here from the Metal Roofing Alliance. And we're so excited to be talking about their new buyer's guide, the newest version, um, and some new initiatives that they have coming out. So, Renee, hello. Hello. How are you guys? Doing good. Excited to be here. Me too. Thank you for having me. So let's just start out, have you introduce yourself a little bit and tell us Um, about the MRA. Okay. Uh, My name is Renee Ramey. I'm the executive director of the Metal Roofing Alliance. I've been in this role for, I think, going on my seventh year, um, but within the industry uh, for over 25 years. So been been around the industry for a while and the Metal Roofing Alliance is a nonprofit trade association that exists to drive consumer awareness about metal roofing um, and then provide some education and marketing to those homeowners so they are fully versed on the benefits and uh, great qualities of a metal roofing and uh, with the hopes that when they get ready to re-roof their home, they will at least consider metal, if not go with metal um, on their re-roof. So that's why we exist. And we love your MRA buyer's guide that is available. And we hear that there's a new version coming out. So what are some of those updates or maybe improvements that you're making to that MRA buyer's guide? Um, Yeah, well, we refreshed the look, obviously, that's a a simple update, Uh, but we were finding uh, that over time, you know, data, new studies come out, new new data um, comes into, you know, being, and we just try to keep the buyer's guide as up to date as possible. Uh, We also try to add sections or clarity within sections as we do the revisions. So with this particular revision, we went in and did a complete overall of the comparison guide. So within the buyer's guide, there is a series of tables that cross compare metal roofing to other materials in certain categories, such as, um, you know, environmental impacts and uh, other benefits, weather performance, things of that nature, as well as cost and um, typical length of warranty. And so that's one of the bigger updates with this version of the buyer's guide is updates to the the comparison tables that are in there. Amazing. So how does the buyer's guide help owners, um, homeowners, that is, make informed decisions about metal roofing. What are some of the new stats that you're including um, that can help people be informed? Okay. Yeah. So it's it's meant to help a homeowner from really the initial phase of, do we need a new roof? And Mm -hmm. providing insights and guidance around what to look for to decide if, yes, we do need a, a new roof. Um, we then take them through, um, you know, some questions and some information around regional differences. So where you live matters and based on where you live, the architecture style of your home, those types of things. Um, you know, we give some recommendations on what they should consider when selecting a new roof. And then we introduce them to metal roofing uh, as far as. You know, there's a lot of myths about metal roofing out there. And so it's important to us that they're aware that it, you know, it does come in a variety of different styles, colors, mm-hmm. um, can look like any other roofing material out there. So we kind of guide them through that. And then we help them through not just the roofing material itself, but what are the other accessories or things that go into a roof replacement? You know, we, we talk about underlayments in, in detail in the new version. We talk oh, about fasteners. We talk about you know, the the vents or the the roof jacks or whatever goes into the roof above and beyond the actual roofing material. We try to guide them through that. And then um, something we're focusing on this year that I'm excited about 
and I believe it's long overdue, is a lot of homeowners, I think, have this misperception that with a roof, when they're going to re-roof their home, they need to be in a financial position to, you know, stroke a check or, or make some sort of a massive payment all at once for their new roof. And we're finding more and more that there are financing options out there for homeowners when they do a re-roof that would be similar to buying a new car or a new refrigerator or putting in a new heat pump, right? It gives homeowners the option of making payments just like they would on any other discretionary income type product. Um, and I, I just don't think a lot of homeowners know that. So we have a, a pretty decent financing section that just walks through things to consider. Um, but certainly we want them to be aware that, you know, nobody expects them to stroke a check for the roof up front, that there are a lot of options out there that make it 100% viable for any homeowner. Mm. That's great. Yeah, that's so daunting to see such a big number when you need a new roof. And yeah, yeah, that, yeah, it's yeah. great that you provide it that. It can be, you know, and, and we're not blind to the fact that, you know, if you're going for a quality metal roof, you know, one of the benefits is you put one on versus, you know, potentially three or more asphalt roofs. So there is typically a little bit more expense up front for a metal roof than there is an asphalt roof. Um, but how long that roof lasts is, you know, as I just said, three to four times as long, um, you know, so you get your money's worth out of it and then some, but it, it's hard. It's hard for homeowners to justify paying that much up front. For sure. But well worth it. Yes. Um, so for homeowners who are considering getting a metal roof, um, what are some things that they can, they should consider when selecting their materials? Yeah. So it goes back to, um, in my personal opinion, I think the industry as a whole agrees, it's a lot to do with where you live. So if you live in, you know, an area that's getting hurricanes or high winds, you need to be cognizant of that. And that needs to fall into your consideration set when you're picking that material. You know, will it, what's it made out of? Will it withstand, you know, high winds? How does it withstand high winds? What's keeping it on the roof? And so, you know, wildfires, I'll throw out just a slightly mm -hmm. different example. You know, if you live in a, an area that's got a lot of wildfires and you run the risk of, you know, being in a situation where there's burning embers flying around, that should be in the consideration set when you're looking to buy a new home and pick those materials. It's what's going to help your home be fire resistant if you're in that situation. And then the other thing is we like to push is the aesthetics, right? Like metal roofing's beautiful and really can look like any other roofing material out there. And so why wouldn't you want to put the best roof you could on a home that's going to help you protect all the stuff inside the home, including yourselves, your possessions, you know, in the event of weather events and whatnot. So it's it's just kind of educating everybody about where they live and, you know, the true benefits of putting a metal roof on. Yeah, wildfires. Absolutely. I mean, that's huge. So, and doesn't the, sorry, doesn't the MRA oh. buyer's guide kind of go through that, you know, what you should consider based on the climate that you're in? Yeah, not Is only does the buyer's guide go through it, but we we feel pretty passionate about helping homeowners, you know, skip through all the, the noise of areas or things to consider in areas that they don't live in. Where do you live? And so on the MRE website, we actually have introduced regional web pages. So as a homeowner, all you have to do once you get to our site is click on where where do you live? And we'll bring up things to consider and uh, take, you know, different aesthetics of homes typically in the area. But yeah, we try to make it easy for a homeowner to find what they need without combing through everything. Oh, that's super cool. Um, so... You kind of already have answered this question, but are there any other tidbits in the buyer's guide that help home homeowners? How does ultimately the buyer's guide help a homeowner decide what they're going to do with the roof? Yeah. Well, I, th I think to summarize it uh, a bit more succinctly, it it gives you all the things you should consider um, built within the buyer's guide are notes pages. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's designed to be a working document. You go through, yep, we need to think about that. You know, yes, we have questions about this. And it really is meant to flag the homeowner. So when they actually meet with whomever they're considering going with in the roof install process, they are 
educated somewhat, you know, of what to expect and they know what to ask. And that's the ultimate, you know, goal of the buyer's guide, in my opinion, is is giving them enough education um, to be able to have intelligent conversations with the installers, to ask the right questions, to make sure that the roof they get is the one that they need for their home. So that's that's a big benefit of the buyer's guide. Yeah, that's huge. I love the note pages. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Definitely. if you're like me, you forget things as you go. So it's really <laughs> yeah. nice to have those pages with those note lines to keep you, keep you front and center on what you're thinking. <laughs> me too. For sure. <laughs> Can you share any, you know, success stories or feedback from homeowners who have used the MRA Buyer Guide, Buyer's Guide? Oh, yeah, I love that. Um, I hear from homeowners all the time. I've got, uh, you know, just thinking about specific stories. We had a homeowner who was re-roofing their home. They actually had solar on their home um, uh, previously, but it was on an asphalt asphalt roof the roof had run its life they were looking to re-roof and um you know going with metal ended up saving them thousands of dollars potentially in the future because they never had considered the fact that a metal roof outlasts most roofing systems um solar systems excuse me that you put on the roof and so mm -hmm. that was a testament right that they were going through this massive headache of pulling all the solar off the roof so they could take all the asphalt roofing off so they could put more on it was quite the headache and they were just thrilled at the idea of learning that you know if you put on a metal roof you don't have to take that solar stuff off again right like once it's put back on it's there and you're good and so that's one example but I hear from homeowners quite a bit. I get a lot of homeowners that actually want a hard copy printed version. And and I've got homeowners that call and, and want more copies because they're handing them out to all their friends, right? So <laughs> I think it gets used a lot. We definitely, um, obviously, on the marketing front, we track kind of who's visiting what most often. And the buyer's guide is the most visited um, document, most downloaded document that we have on the MRA website, which tells me that, you know, people are finding a lot of value in it. That's so great. Yeah. Um, I think that's so cool. And I mean, as a first time home buyer, um, I think that's just so what a great resource as well when you're looking at a house that, you know, already has a roof and maybe it has a metal roof and you can kind of see, um, you know, what your maintenance like, is going to look like too, maybe and all that stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, go ahead if you want to say something. I was just going to say, um, I liked your point there is that, you know, it's not just um, we focus a lot on the re-roofing industry, but it's not mm -hmm. just the re-roof industry. We have, um, I am familiar with a builder in an area, a high, high value area that I have a home in that won't install anything but metal roofs. And, um, cool. you know, he gives that guide to people as they're having their custom home builds, uh, homes built as a, you know, um, kind of letting them work through it themselves, but ultimately showcasing why he really subscribes to doing metal roofs and why they should want to do a metal roof. And, and so that feedback's always been good too. Yeah, that's cool. I also just, I mean, I love the look of metal roofs um, so much better than asphalt. And I just think they're so chic honestly. <laughs> and I think they just look great. So everyone out there listening should have a metal roof. <laughs> okay. um, how does the, you know, this new kind of revamped version of the buyer's guide, um, how have you adapted it to some of the new trends and technologies? I know you mentioned financing. Is there anything else um, that you're covering in this new version? Yeah, um, financing is probably the biggest new mm -hmm. thing we're covering. Again, as I said before, things we usually do a revamp of the buyer's guide every year to two years because just mm -hmm. things change. And so, for example, one thing that has changed is how much, you know, the estimated amount of cost savings a homeowner might get from putting a metal roof on versus um, an asphalt roof. And so we've included some updated, you know, energy cost savings, you know, um, information from various third party entities, you know, such as the Department of Energy, you know, and so it's, it's trying to, to get the most up to date information in there. Uh, you know, sustainability and environmental, um, friendliness to our Mother Earth is, is a top priority for a lot of people right now. And so we went in and added some additional information around, 
um, just metal roofing sustainability. And we didn't add as much as I would like. There's so that's such a good story for metal roofing and so much to add. So, yeah. but we did add some, and the intent is again just to continue to fill that that area out as we go. Um, but certainly, we see trends in. Um, sustainability trends and trying to find some cost savings. Um, the financing is huge. And the other thing that we are starting to see pop up more often is I, I think, I think we've done well at getting awareness out there about metal roofing. I think homeowners are aware that it's an option now. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just continuing that train, if you will, to start putting more and more examples of different roof styles to your point Megan that that are out there and so we've changed out some of the imagery in the guide as well to just try to showcase some of the different options that that are out there for style and for color yeah 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 that's great I mean I saw at the IBS show international builder show that GAF came out with metal shingles which was cool so there's all sorts of new evolution to the market at all times yeah, yeah. <laughs> We just had a member that um, has partnered a couple different roofing companies that have partnered. One of MRA's members is involved in that with a really cool panel that has solar um, oh. is, is specifically designed, you know, for the solar um, side of things as well. So, yeah, it's, it's just it's always changing. Yeah, definitely. And just, yeah, based on consumer demand and, you know, what people are interested in and, and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's great. And something that I haven't heard of from the MRA is your mini guides. So can you tell yeah, us what those these, are? These have not even been rolled out yet. Um, we are Ooh. in the process of building a new website and that new website is planned to be rolled out in late May, early June. Um, and part of the rollout of the new website will be an inclusion of these mini guides. But the gist of the guides is, you know, the, the buyer's guide is very comprehensive. Um, I think it's 36 pages now of just packed full of information that we think is is important to a homeowner. Um, but sometimes homeowners are just curious about, you know, what to look for when they need a new roof, not necessarily all the rest of it, or, you know, what considerations should we take into account based on region. And so the mini guides are really going to be, um, you know, broken out of the main buyer's guide, but more into topical smaller topical guides that, um, you know, prevent a homeowner from having to, to walk through the whole MRA buyer's guide for a specific topic that they're looking into. So we, we will be peeling those off and, and creating those as their own entities. Um, we're working on that right now, but they will be ready, uh, as I said, probably the end of May. So we're ah, excited exciting. about those. Yeah. Bite-sized guides. Yeah, yeah, we're hoping that, yeah, like I said, for people who don't want to download and read the whole thing, they'll be a little more enticed to grab what they need. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Absolutely. Do you have any topics um, on the top of your head that the mini guides are going to cover? Yeah, there'll be four mini guides as I, uh, and then as I just shared, you know, one will be kind of how do you know you, you need a new roof? things to consider there. Um, the regional aspect um, will be a big one because we do really believe that the roof you select, um, the system itself, the panels and the system itself are very important to, you know, your your search for the new roof. Um, and then uh, there is one that kind of speaks to the install. So if you've already kind of selected you know, your roof and you're already kind of along that line. You, you haven't read the buy, buyer's guide, the full guide, but, you know, now you want to know what to look for during installation. There's one that's focused specifically on, okay, you're walking through this installation. What should you be asking? What What's the installer? What should they be doing? You know, as you're watching them put your roof on, things you can look for to make sure that, you know, they're looking at everything they should be looking at. And and then follow up. Um, it's really just the, you know, how do you clean a metal roof? How often should you clean? What should you use? Um, you know, what should you ask for on the warranty side? And, and how does that work? So it's, it's kind of broken up into chunks such as those. The guide is meant for any level of experience. And I guess, you know, it's like anything else when you get something and you're already familiar with this bit of information you f you thumb through quickly to the bits mm -hmm. you don't know and so uh it, it, we feel like it's appropriate for everyone regardless of how um 
knowledgeable you are about the re-roof process or putting a new roof on a new house, you know, the roofing process in general. So that's, um, yeah, that's kind of where we have to have it tailored to a beginner, intermediate or advanced. Uh, I do, I do see where over time, one of the things that we'll probably do once we get the initial mini guides up and running is, um, build on those a bit, build out on those a bit more. Um, what I envision is, you know, as we dive into more detail and whatnot, we nece- we won't necessarily make the, the main buyer's guide bigger. It will, it will stay as that kind of one-stop resource. But as you want to dive deeper into the different sections, um, certainly the mini guides will develop out based on what we see from homeowners and from the industry, questions that are coming up and things that need to, to be addressed in some form. Very cool. Great. So when you said that these are launching end of May, early June, um, maybe are there any other sneak peeks you could give us into the into the mini guides? Maybe a potential fifth mini guide coming out after the fact or anything like that? Um, we will have potentially more guides. I don't have them lined up yet. Mm-hmm. Probably big news for us as it relates to all of this is we've got a massive unveiling coming at the end of June or uh, into May, early June. Um, we are, as I said, you know, rebuilding the website and we're rebuilding it with homeowners in mind. So we That's are... Awesome streamlining um, how the menu options work. We're, we're getting rid of a lot of the old data um, that we've been packing, which is still good data, but, you know, maybe outdated and, and maybe there's more current stuff there. So we're really just doing a, a big flush of what has been and and building up a new one. And we're very excited about that um, because as part of the new website, we're going to launch the new revamped buyer's guide, the full guide. We're going to have this little section for the mini guides. Um, We're really honing in and promoting on the regional front a lot. So we're building out kind of the things people need to consider as they're going into, you know, the re-roof process, depending on where you live. So there's a lot of things that are wrapped up in this new website launch that I so I'm I'm happy to tease that because we're super excited about that. Um, we're always looking, you know, we're always looking for projects um, to highlight or or testimonials as well, and that's a that's a big thing for us with the new website. You'll see a lot more testimonials, a lot more case studies out there, and um, maybe even building that into some sort of, and we've talked about this as an association, but some sort of an aesthetic guide, Um, you know, so for the homeowners that are more interested in the look and feel, you know, we touch on it a lot through all these other guides, but there isn't a dedicated guide that just goes into, hey, look, if you've got a craftsman home, you know, here's what we think will go best on your home. And here's what you should consider, you know, from a color perspective, from a profile perspective, um, things of that nature. Um, So that's, that's something that will be coming. And I guess we can tease that as, as the fifth guide, if we want to call it that, but the Mm -hmm. extra architectural guide is on the horizon as well. And, you know, we, um, we had a board meeting recently and it was, it was suggested that we have done a really, really good job as an association of, bringing attention to the benefits as they pertain to weather events. So, you know, metal roofing is great in high winds. It's great in, you know, wildfire areas, et cetera. Um, and we focused on it so hard that we really feel like we need to take a step back and just remind people of just how beautiful the product is, you know, how amazing it is. You can achieve looks and colors that you can't achieve with other roofing systems and just kind of, Focus back in on that for a bit as well. It's chic. I'll say it again. <laughs> yeah. it's chic. And, you know, I, I've shared this instance before, but it happens consistently. I'll be walking through a, an, our neighborhood and you'll see a new roof going on and you'll have to do a double take. And sometimes I've, I've even asked the homeowner that's standing out in the driveway, is that a metal roof? I've been in the industry for 25 plus years. You know, I, I think I, I would like to think I know what a metal <laughs> roof looks like, but they're just so good now at looking like other roofing materials that you just, I saw a, 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 a tile, metal tile roof the other day. It was a stone co- stone coated product, but it was shaped like tile. Um, and it was just beautiful. 
It wow. took me a hot minute to figure out that that wasn't like a, a clay tile roof. You know, it, it was, it, so it's just really neat to see how far the products have come. It's pretty yeah. incredible what is, has been made capable from metal, you know, just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And all just the possibilities. It. Yeah. It's kind of a create your own roof adventure with, with metal. Yeah. Now. yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, and, and we have the uh, uh, visualizer on our website that gets, it gets used pretty frequently. Um, not, not as much as we would like, but it, it gets used quite frequently. And it's always kind of neat to go back at the end of the month and see, you know, how many people uploaded the, the pictures of their homes and what they played with as far as the roof styles and stuff. And it's neat to see the creative side of what metal can do mm-hmm. for a home. Yeah. Is there anything else about the buyer's guide or the mini guides that we haven't touched on that you think homeowners should know about? Get yours. That's what I would say. They're yeah. free. They don't cost anything. I see other people launching guides. Um, and I went to download one the other day and figured out it was going to cost me forty nine ninety nine. right? Like, so Ooh. just use them. Use what you want of them. Download it. Um, you know, get a hold of me if you want a hard copy of it. We just are about sharing information, wanting to make sure that the homeowner is fully educated on the things to ask, the things to look for. Um, so yeah, grab one, download it. We'll send you one, whatever you need, but make sure you go in eyes wide open on the process. Because if you don't, I, you know, the, the, the sad part of this is that I talk to homeowners almost every week who have had subpar product and or it was not installed correctly and they they need access to a lawyer or they want to know if they we can send out a um, inspection you know if we have anybody that will come out inspect it for them and the the heartbreaking stories are real and there's a lot of them so take the time to make sure you're getting a quality installer a quality product and that you know what you're doing saves you a lot of headache absolutely so <clears throat> what's your website just so the people know metal roofing that's an ing metal roofing.com amazing and then <laughs> everyone out there you can also find the metal roofing alliance on askaroofer.com as well as rooferscoffeeshop.com so go check out their directories and they've uh, renee you've done lots of podcasts with us so everyone go listen to our other podcasts yes love you guys Ah. Uh, We love the Metal Roofing Alliance and um, can't thank you enough for joining us today. This has been great. Oh, it is. Always good to see you guys. (laughs) Thanks, Renee. Amazing. So everyone out there, go check out um, the Metal Roofing Alliance directories on the sites and make sure you're subscribed and you follow along for all new updates. And we'll see you on the next Ask a Roofer podcast. Oh my gosh, what a great episode that was. I know, we love Renee from the MRA. Renee from the MRA! (laughs) Metal Roofing Alliance. She's the best. She's so well-spoken. She is, and she has so much to say about metal roofing, and we love metal roofing. I know, she's so knowledgeable on metal roofing. I feel like she knows everything about metal roofing. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I know. In this episode, we were talking about their amazing buyer's guide Mm -hmm. and their new mini guides for homeowners. They're completely free, Mm -hmm. which I love. Yeah. And it's just a free resource for anybody looking to get a metal roof or re-roofing their house and considering metal. Yeah. All sorts of fun updates. Yeah. I thought you said... um bite-sized which I thought was appropriate for the mini guides because I think yeah if you're look if you're like paging through like a 36 page document especially if it's a pdf like on your computer that can get a little overwhelming for sure so I think having the mini guides is definitely more bite-sized approachable for like more for a multitude of people definitely and lets you focus on you know that specific topic yeah that you need more information on Mm -hmm. um and I love too that they have notes. So it's it's kind of like a workbook. Yeah. It's not just a guide, it's a workbook. So you can jot your questions down or, you know, maybe mm-hmm. you have a contractor friend or somebody who's really knowledgeable about roofing or metal roofing and you can add those notes in there for when you are talking to your contractor. And yeah. 
asking those more detailed questions about what to expect. Yeah. I also forgot and was re- refreshed today that the MRA website has a visualizer. So you can upload a picture of your house and then play around and put different roofs on it and different materials and all sorts of stuff, which is so cool. Yeah, I know. Such a great resource to be able to see. You know, there's so many different options with colors and even texture and just the look of metal. So finding what you really like and what fits with the aesthetic and the curb appeal that you're trying to achieve. Um, And I love, too, that their website is getting an update. Yeah, exciting. Way more user friendly, apparently. And they're going to break down their content by region. So, you know, whatever region you're living in and your home is in, you can get detailed information about you know, metal roofing in your region, um, Mm -hmm. which I think is huge. I love that idea. Yeah, that's great. And what was their website? It was metalroofing.com, I think. So everyone go check that out and play with all the new things and check out the mini guides. And then you can also find that website through askroofer.com and through roofercoffeeshop.com. Absolutely. Yeah. So lots of exciting things to come. I think those mini guides are getting released end of May, beginning Mm -hmm. of June. So just in time for for summer, for your summer reading. (laughs) Exhilarating summer reading. (laughs) I mean, why not? Why not? Educate (laughs) yourselves on metal roofing, people. (laughs) Well, Lauren, this has been a great episode. Thanks for co-hosting as always. I know. Looking forward to the next one. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye. If your roof needs answers, subscribe now to the Ask a Roofer podcast. We've got your questions covered one episode at a time. Go to askaroofer.com to submit your questions and learn more. Stay tuned and keep those questions coming.